Hi, I'm Dr. Safadi. I'm just going to go over the use of um, epinephrine injectors. Um, the reason you're watching this video is you probably we uh, advised or your doctor advised that you uh, keep an EpiPen or an epinephrine uh, device like OVQ on hand for treating an allergic reaction. Um, uh, these devices, um, key points, do not need to be refrigerated so they can stay at room temperature. Uh, although we do not recommend exposing them to extreme um, amount of heat. In that regard, if you have to leave them in a car, uh, I do recommend that you keep them inside a thermostat or a protective container that at least will prevent them from extreme heat. Um, they do have expiration dates, usually about a year. So when you pick the prescription from your pharmacy, make sure that it has that amount of uh, uh, time left in it uh, before you pick it up. Uh, we have seen uh, at times that um, some uh, pharmacies that may not be stocked well enough will have uh, ones that have uh, a much shorter half-life. Um, these are fairly expensive and therefore um, you really would want to keep um, to make sure that you have uh, a full use of them, uh, period. Um, yeah, they are also um, light sensitive, they are kept inside uh, uh, protective uh, cases that uh, um, should keep them away from uh, direct light. Um, however, um, if uh, they are exposed for light for a significant amount of time, uh, uh, their um, potency might be affected and they may not be as useful, uh, period. In any case, um, this is the uh, initial and uh, uh, widely used uh, EpiPen. Um, it has instructions on the side that can help you uh, and direct you towards administration. Um, this is a trainer that also should come with the uh, EpiPen when you, uh, when you pick it up from the pharmacy. Uh, if you're still uncomfortable, you can ask the pharmacist also to demonstrate for you how to use and, uh, epinephrine uh, injectables. Uh, first thing uh, we would uh, recommend is to not wait too long if you're having an allergic reaction to use an Epi, uh, EpiPen. Uh, most people can get away without administration of an epinephrine. Um, however, uh, the risk is high and the outcome can be really bad that uh, I generally recommend my patients to use the epinephrine uh, injectable um, as soon as they have a confirmed uh, ingestion or exposure to the allergic uh, trigger and they're having definitive symptoms. Uh, that can be in the form of uh, you know, a few rashes, few hives, some swelling in the face, uh, difficulty breathing. Uh, uh, again, and in doubt, we say use the epinephrine um, and you might supplement that with some other form of antihistamines, being Benadryl or Zyrtec or others, but do not hesitate to use the epinephrine. Anytime the epinephrine is used, you should be heading uh, to the emergency room or calling 911 um, as it's only giving you some temporary protection uh, for the next uh, few minutes. Uh, so, to use this device, the first thing to do is we tell is pull up the cap, the blue cap on the top, and hold it firm so that it's not not from the tip of it, but more of a good grip so that when you inject it, you'll have a good con you know control of it. If you're administering to someone else, I also recommend using your other hand to grab their outer leg so that it can be held in a steady position. You can put the other hand right in between the two fingers and then you push. It's a firm push so you need to push firmly and you can tell it clicks and once it clicks you need to hold it there for 10 seconds and you can start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and you take it out. The minute you take it out you, um, this part here will expand and it will cover the needle so you will never see an actual needle when you inject. Uh, the only expectations from such injection is a slight discomfort from this fine needle. It can be also a little sting with it, but other than that, um, should not feel anything else. Um, we do recommend that you go to the outer side of the leg because there's no blood vessels in that area. The inner side of the leg has some major blood vessels and in the unfortunate event that you administer it there, you can cause some constriction of those vessels and, and that can be a problem. So. In all um, situations, always the outer side of the leg, except with young infants, you might, as you've seen with immunizations, 
you might end up going to the upper part of the leg again kind of uh, going slightly to the outer side as well um, once the person gets the epinephrine you would expect that uh, you might experience some increased heart rate some increase in shaking um, blood pressure of course will go up as well um, there is also a tendency sometimes for some anxiety with that that's only temporary and you can reassure the person that this is only temporary and it's going to uh, fade away within the next few minutes uh, again whenever you use it you still go to the emergency room you still go to 911 do not haste you know do not hesitate to use it um, if you're having a reaction as uh, certainly um, it can be a, a, makes a difference between life and death period uh, the newer device that uh, has been available now for the last uh, couple of years uh, has the same exact medical benefit. It's called an OVQ. The main advantage of this device um, is that it will talk and instruct you on how to administer the epinephrine uh, and can be useful for some people who uh, will need that extra help. Uh, it is also a little smaller and maybe easier to carry in the purse. But as far as the medical benefit, they are exactly identical. So this is the OVQ device. To use it, you just put it out of the case. This trainer contains no needle or drug. If you are ready to use, pull off red safety guard. To inject, place black end against outer thigh. Then press firmly and hold in place for five seconds. Yeah, same applies. This trainer may be reused for training purposes. Replace the red safety guard and gray outer case. Can same thing applies as far as this one, as the original EpiPen or any uh, similar form of it, um, that you should always um, go to the emergency room. Uh, once they are used, uh, these are generally... Um, used once and they cannot be used again um, so to dispose of these we do recommend our patients to bring them to our office for proper disposal uh, at a later time um, but not to really place these in the trash um, again i hope this is uh, helpful as always um, you know ask us any questions uh, that you have and uh, we hope that this um, video um, can be of use uh, to uh, many people who need to keep an EpiPen or an OVQ administrator uh, on hand. Thank you.